Griffin here with Rescue Methods. This is a quick tip on setting up the Paratech Flying Raker. We're going to focus on a 60 degree raker set. And the nice thing about these systems is the only measurement we really need to take is the raker length. So as soon as we find out our insertion point height, figure out how long your raker is going to be by multiplying that insertion point times 14. Then pull a strut and extension measurement that meets that length. From there, we're going to use the holes on the wall plate to determine our rise run for this raker and we're going to use the brace as the set point to make sure we maintain 60 degrees. So if I start at this top hole, using a B23 strut on a 60 degree rake, I'm going to count down until I'm at my fifth hole. That's five feet worth of spacing. If I use the 12-7 relationship between rise and run on a 60 degree raker, when I multiply that 5 times 7, I get 35 inches. So I now know if I pull this B23 brace plus the clamp and clevis and the rail latch to 35 inches here at the midpoint of the raker, tie everything in and keep this angle at about 90 degrees, I know I've got a good 60 degree set. When we install these, we loosen up the clamp and clevis we let that brace kind of drift to allow for that deflection on the wall. So there's playability in there, but for your initial set on the ground to get this built and configured right, that's just a quick, easy way to do that. Regardless of your insertion point height, using this reduced triangle calculation to make sure you stay at 60 degrees is always going to accommodate that. I can grow the raker length as much as I want, and this basic assembly is always going to stay the same on a 60 degree raker.